what caused your first hard oh my rage? God, I was like, this is Hello, I'm Amy and I'll be hosting my sister. Ama. Yeah, Ama is a brand manager and a product photographer. And oh my, you're looking really nice. Oh, <laughs> almost, almost so shatter, shatter. Shatter, shatter. I don't know that I did my makeup. Oh yes, I did the makeup. Like this is the first time I'm going all out on her face, and I created a, con yeah. a content or I made a video of it, and which I'll be uploading, and I'm going to paste the link on this video. So today we are playing a game called Pick. A number yeah. so the papers are in this bowl and I'm gonna pick one if I pick the paper and I'm going to read out the question exactly so who's gonna go start. <laughs> gonna start. okay since you're holding the bowl let me just pick something All right. so <gasps> I'll read it out. number two oh so question. <laughs> okay um Men mention three countries you must visit this year three countries yes. there's a lot to but if i really want to give out the countries i would love to visit this year mm -hmm. we're going to start with um <laughs> i'll start with ghana Ooh. ghana is like you know one of my to-do list ghana um Why? because it's in africa i'm just trying to look at africa for now for Okay, so if it's not Ghana, it's to be Mauritius, mm. and if it's not Mauritius, it's to be Canada. Yes. Oh, it's going to be Canada. <laughs> yeah. One of the three countries I would love to visit this year. Yeah. All right, your turn. All right, so pick. Yeah. <laughs> okay, you can check the questions here. Hmm. Make sure you've not done the expo. No, I don't know what I picked now. All right. Number nine number nine <laughs> it was the question what was your childhood career ambition and what is your current one haha <laughs> <laughs> very funny <laughs> okay my childhood oh uh, career ambition yeah oh. first of all i wanted to be a medical doctor <laughs> science student are you now <laughs> then and what are you now i'm a doctor i'm going to be a doctor mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. later on i i actually wanted to be a musician you remember that time i remember when you told my yes, dad record music. <laughs> and he said that he wanted to be a musician <laughs> a, musician, uh, a christian musician a gospel artist you were not specific then were you yeah i was i was recording uh, some gospel oh, songs okay that's so, true uh, so what happened <laughs> <laughs> it was the history ah uh, that's it's a, it's a long story it's a long story but right now i'm a brand manager yeah i I'm a photographer, so I think that's really what I love doing. My turn. Your turn. Pick. Number eight. Number eight. What do you miss most about your childhood? Hmm. What do I miss most? Uh, the fact that I never really cared about money. Because I knew that there was food in the house. There was no pressure to be who I didn't want to be or who I didn't want to be in my childhood. And I had that freedom to play around. Ah, so I miss that. I yes, miss that playing. Play. I miss playing. Like, play. I just it love playing play when I'm back from school with no friends and my neighbors. <laughs> so that was what I actually miss about my childhood. Hmm. So, your turn. Okay, why I folded this paper? <laughs> you have to like try so hard to open okay. it. Okay. Number three. Number three. <clears throat> ah, good. Okay, if you could change your career, what would that be? If I could change my career. Mm -hmm. If you wake up one day and say, you don't want to be a brand manager anymore or a product photographer. <laughs> what do you think, you know, that's going to be? To be honest, I have no idea what I want to do. So that you thing. love what you're doing yes, right now. Yes, I don't. I don't. And there's nothing of, you want to change about it. Except, um, except going back, with being a musician. Or, <laughs> <laughs> I just prefer. I like it because I know. I know that I know how I've invested in this career. So uh -huh. where do I start from again now? 
um, becoming a musician. That's thoughtful. That's, that's, that's good. <laughs> um, maybe yes. Oh, a number. A number. Okay. Oh, number five. Number five. Number five. What's number five? Which celebrity was a childhood crush? <laughs> Channing Tato in Magic Mike. And hey. he used to like, like bad guys. <laughs> And he was a child. Ah. Leave me alone. Like he, he featured in a lot of dance videos. Like no, not really dance videos. Like stupid dance videos. Yeah. Not stupid videos. Like oh god, um, movies that involve dance. This um exotic, hip -hop. exotic dance. Yeah, that was just a magic mind. But aside that, he featured in actually a lot of dance movies. And mm. I like I used to really love dancing, and he was one of the, my mentors. So yeah. I. You know, I used to love dancing actually. So yeah, so that was like the person I looked up to when it came to dancing. Thing. Number number seven. Number seven. What cost your first heart? Oh my god, I was avoiding this question. What cost it? No, you have to give us details that like, <laughs> what cost your first heartbreak? No, 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 no. I need to hear this. <sighs> mm -hmm. well, Should I bring um a handkerchief for tissue, which one? I'm not now, like... <laughs> yes, Alright, I'm listening. Okay, what caused my first heartbreak? Mm. Actually, it was distance and... Okay, distance and lack of communication. Oh, no. Yeah, it was a long-distance relationship now. So, I... did you ever do anything on long distance after that? Ever since the that relationship, I never liked long-distance relationship. No. It's just not for me. That's not my love language. I don't like... I like, you know... Seeing the person, quality mm. time, mm -hmm. and all of that. I'm not saying what I want to hear, but that's fine. Just, <laughs> that's, what, me... that's what caused this. What do you want to hear? Yeah, sorry. <laughs> yeah. Anyway, let me just let it slide. So, <laughs> yeah, so... my turn. Yeah, okay. So let me just pick. pick. Number six. Number six. Number six, yeah. What's that one thing you can confidently talk about anytime? My job. Yeah, what I do. You can confidently talk about it. Yeah, she, that's what working class, career. Yeah. yeah. She, it's independent. Yeah. <laughs> Number ten. Number ten. Hmm. <laughs> what advice would you give to a tech babe? What advice would you give to a tech babe? Huh. Ah. So, as a tech babe, what advice would you give to a tech babe, right? Okay, yeah. You know, tech. Mm -hmm. The way people sugarcoat tech on social media now, mm -hmm. and you think it's all rosy and everything. So, I'll just tell a tech babe to actually, like, not get carried away with her job, her career, mm -hmm. have a life. Like, we are young, you know, you need to experience life, you need to have fun. Like, what we are doing now, we're having fun. Normally, I would have been trying to meet on one deadline. I beg your clients. This weekend, please right. set boundaries, set, set healthy boundaries. boundaries. Yeah, and take care of yourself, have fun, spend time with your loved ones. Mm -hmm. And yeah, and I think, okay, one other thing is be confident, be bold. I know that as a tech mm. babe, you might be in some kind of um environments where there are guys you know work, see, some workplaces that they just see you as a babe like a girl a lady and they don't even like put you at high esteem because i can actually relate to that because that's well, what's be confident, been happening be confident like stand your ground okay. learn how to say no right. yeah you don't have to accept nonsense you know mm. you don't have to let people talk down on you you mm. know you you know your word know your words and and i believe that you are worth it, actually. You are worth. You deserve every respect. Uh, every advice. Love. Thank you. You don't have that to. That's the thing. Like I'm saying, based on my own experience, like you have to I stand guess. your ground. Right. Yes. So thanks for the advices. Mm -hmm. <laughs> thanks a lot. Your well, turn, that your was turn. really helpful because a lot of ladies right now are in the kind of situation. Uh -huh where they need something like an upliftment we're going to share our story i think we should make a video on it like sharing our experiences work life like your work life and stuff. work experiences and everything toxic workplaces aside from the work i think we should also talk about our experiences in university so that's something we can actually do <laughs> like well, that university right. exactly because a lot to talk about but don't worry yeah. so i think it's my turn yes, to pick yeah. a number and 
<clears throat> number one. Oof, number first. one, finally. All right. What do you need to upscale this year? Like upscaling your career this year? What do you need? Okay. Um, number one is money because <laughs> hello <laughs> upscaling involves certification mm -hmm. involves training and those things don't come cheap aside money um the right kind of people in your circle very very very, very important. important that community ah, very, very so that they will easily guide you mm -hmm. in the right channel or the direction to where you're headed mm -hmm. another thing i think i'll need to upscale this year is uh, the opportunity to this um um trainings too because sometimes it's not money they can be um can i say accesses to these trainings like vouchers so once i have this time time also is very important so if i if i know i have that time to push to you know reaching this goal i think that's also important because a lot of people are so engrossed in what they do over and over and it's very hard for them to you know um, plan that time for them to you know probably be read yet yeah, be flexible to read extra to you know go to that meet to those meetings mm -hmm. to reach out to get to like those networking because the, there was an instance i was invited to a meeting an oracle meeting which is like the tech space and because of i was so engrossed in my job i didn't have time to attend mm -hmm. attend those kind of communities and meetings where I, I would have networked and you know gotten some contacts and that um exposure to information to the latest information so i think those are the things that i need this year mm -hmm. access sure. you're saying access, access yeah. time money yeah. access time um, money you need to get community community right. as well like yeah. for those for that network to happen so your last turn. One. This is the last one now. The last one. <laughs> I have no choice. Right. Number four. Number four. <clears throat> ah, sorry, this is kind of question. Wow. Wow. This, this is kind of important questions. Okay, um, what are your deal breakers in relationship? Okay. My deal breakers. Mm-hmm. Let me relax my back for this. <laughs> Ah, lack of communication, you know, mm -hmm. that was my first relationship now. Mm, same breakers, so not just one. Uh, yeah, 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 no, no, that was my lack, lack of communication. Okay. Um, lack of like dishonesty. Mm -hmm. Dishonesty. <laughs> I hate it. Just be transparent, be open. Okay. Like, even if you're not, you don't have to be perfect. I don't, I don't, I don't, I don't have this uh, picture or imagination of a perfect guy. Mm -hmm. Just be honest, just be yourself. Yeah, mm -hmm. and, um, when you, like disrespect, I don't I can't allow anybody to disrespect me. So that's like a no no for me. Okay. Disrespecting my family, me or my friends, like it's a no no. Oh, so cheating is not a deal breaker. Cheating, yeah, definitely now. Well, she mentioned as cheating is a deep, like it's a deal breaker. Like I was just trying to process like other things. No, I was not expecting this. Okay. Question. So yeah, cheating, like ah, uh, why are you cheating? <laughs> so why are you cheating? <laughs> And I'll be looking at you, you be cheating. How would you even know? <laughs> eh? Like if I know now, if I know, mm. there are signs, you know, but if I know, that's the end. Like, okay. I think these are the questions we have for this game. I hope you enjoyed this session, this game. Yeah. And don't forget to like it. Don't forget to subscribe. Comment. Comment. Yeah. And you can put in, you know, more um, game ideas you have or more questions you feel we should have touched or if you have some answers to one of these questions we asked you can just like deal breakers if you have other things we didn't mention you can put them there mm -hmm. you know, ways to upskill you can you know tell us how you think you can upskill in your career as well yeah yeah yes and you know things that that happened in your past relationships that didn't work yeah you know and just look out for much like or look out for more videos for you can us. suggest you can suggest <laughs> and give us more suggestion because we're just you know starting in this game yeah so we're always be talking about more of like you know things that happen and sharing, things sharing happen. our experiences exactly. we're going to share our experiences love experiences yes thank you very thank much thank you subscribe don't forget to subscribe, don't forget to subscribe. and check out the makeup video video as well and you can we are, we're going to put the link uh, to our instagram accounts you can see the yeah, makeup you now. Or you can <laughs> like, follow us on Instagram, follow us on Twitter, follow us everywhere we put so that we can just see updates from us because we're not just all about YouTube. We have a life, we have a career. 
So yeah, thank you can follow you. me on Instagram to yeah. Ama underscore Mwadipala. Wow. I'll put the I'll put, I'll put the picture of your uh, channel <laughs> on this video so that they can just easily look at it, and also the link in the description box as well. So thank you for watching thank to you. this end. I love you guys. Bye.